It's come to my attention not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello my beautiful Taurus, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Taurus, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how we keep up with y'all, Taurus, is through the comments. But also remember, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, Taurus, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe as well, because it does help me out a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way, Taurus. But remember as well, when you receive this reading today, uh, I'm just here presenting some tarot cards to you, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. I believe my tarot cards, my horoscopes are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live. Taurus, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, darling, let's get into your tarot reading this week. Uh, so let's see where you guys are at, Taurus. How are you guys are feeling today, darling? Where are you guys at in your journey? Let's see here. We have the Five of Air or the Five of Swords in Normal to Rome. Okay. This card says an unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation in reviewing everyone's motives. So right now, Taurus, you guys are in this position where you guys are... It feels like you're analyzing something. You're analyzing something and trying to see, like, where from this point on, like, where this is going to take you or where this is trying to take you at least rather uh cameo tulip again but uh <laughs> yeah you guys are trying to figure something out and see perhaps i get this sense here just uh where you stand with something or with somebody where you just stand in a situation we'll just leave it like that uh tours um definitely a little interruption as well i am doing actually a giveaway for you guys since for hitting ten thousand. so if you would like to enter the giveaway i'm just going to be doing a chance to give someone a chance to have a live reading done with me or a reading done by me uh on their own personal reading whether it's live or recorded so all the information will be down below it's a quick simple process of joining my new discord and it'll be pretty self-explanatory but yeah let's get back into your reading i am feeling like this is more on an energy of where I don't want to say you don't trust this energy, because that just sounds aggressive, doesn't it, darling? But uh, yeah, you're not sure what to make of something, at the very least, is all I can get from this. So naturally, let's pull some clarifiers for this, uh, Taurus. Where are you guys at in this headspace, you know? So we have the Temperance card coming in for you guys. This is something that's been weighing on your mind for quite some time definitely been involving your emotions as well maybe with this this is very like a hot and cold energy that i'm getting now some days you might feel like uh really connected to this and then other days maybe not so much um hmm. so that's probably why you guys have been in the standstill for a little bit a little bit with this is because you don't know what to quite you know, it's very much so, like, <laughs> I'm not going to sing the song, darling, but uh, very much so like that Katy Perry song, Hot and Cold. Uh, King of Cups, really emphasizing this sense of emotion uh, for you, Taurus. This is, is this like a situation here where you're trying to figure out how to maturely handle this? Are you like holding yourself accountable, Taurus, um, and trying to see if you're coming at this from a rational place? This is me just like asking like this, like, um me observing this is not me asking and making sure that you're doing this tourist i kind of feel like this is where your approach has been right because it does feel as if like there's a reason as to why and you acknowledge it as well tourists that there's a reason as to why like some days you're feeling good about it and some days you're not you may just feel very bipolar in this situation you can't it's not like that darling she's trying to like lay on my laptop y'all can't see her but she's doing the most <laughs> um but yeah so it's, I think it's because of the natural essence of how you can kind of see like uh, both sides of this Taurus has you in this little bit of a difficulty. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is why it's kind of hard for you though, is because this is a situation that either could A, Taurus impact you financially, depending on how you handle this situation, or Taurus B, this could be a situation of where it's like this situation here, 
right? This energy here is impacting your funds, impacting your finances. Um, definitely. I really get, well, I want to say funds and finances, but it does feel like there's this slows down your progression. We'll just say, right? When it comes to pentacle earth energy, this is always about just like uh, manifesting, bringing something into the earthly realm. So I go with finances just because it's the easy one, but you know, this could be just blocking your road to, you know, if you're trying to be like an Olympic athlete, darling, and then like you're in an environment where everyone around you is just eating fast food and not, you know, as an example, but tourists, y'all get that, don't you? And then Eight of Swords coming in here in the reverse. So I do see you guys kind of leaning uh, Taurus into the sense of uh, no longer wearing uh, rose-colored glasses with this situation. Um, and I forget who says this quote, Taurus, but it's one of the. It's, it goes along something like uh, uh, no longer wearing re like red flags don't look like red flags when you're wearing uh, red shaded red tinted sunglasses or something along those lines, right? It does feel like you're seeing something for how it is now, kind of getting over a little bit of a Stockholm syndrome with this situation. It feels so. Um, yeah, it's an interesting uh, headspace that you guys are currently in, uh, Taurus. Let's see how this is going to pan out for you this week. Let's see how this progresses, the storyline progresses. So we have the renewal card, darling, number two for numerology and Archangel Jeromeo. So write down the number two, uh, Taurus, for, you know, to look that up for numerology. And then Archangel Jeromeo, if your spiritual practices allow this or are open to this, Archangel Jeromeo is one, is an Archangel that is reaching out to you this week that you could work with actively should you want to. But this card says, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Um, time to move into a new direction. So I do see Taurus, you guys break like actively leaving the situation even though um yeah it seems like you're finally like whatever the situation hot and cold is about it finally feels like you are kind of done in this phase this week you kind of are just commit to the decision on um being like all right this is kind of dead and over with there's no passion here there's nothing that drives you anymore in this situation so showing really reflecting right off the bat Taurus, that you guys are probably going to move on move on from this situation yeah you no longer are putting energy into this anymore with the magician card stepping forward as well um i do feel drawn to pull and one more queen of fire queen of wands so this is still naturally you're making this choice because of your own passions um because you this is the card let me read it off actually this card says stretching your wings and flying taurus uh don't underestimate yourself asserting your independence and creativity so with this yeah this is just in the name of like leaving the nest with something right um seeing realizing something is no longer beneficial for your growth anymore doesn't mean the situation itself is bad taurus it just means that it's no longer good for you and it's time for you to move on right sometimes the situations are just there for a season not a lifetime as of the, as that saying goes as well taurus as I'm sure most of y'all already know. So uh, yeah, this magician card in the reverse, you're pulling it all, like you're no longer investing any, no more upkeep with the situation anymore. The judgment card in the reverse, yeah, you guys are completely pulling out um, from this situation. You're just no longer feeling good. Four of cups. Yeah, it seems like you guys are just no longer going to be continuing turning a blind eye to the situation, Taurus. Um, whatever the situation is with that Five of Swords here, um, it's showing to me that, you know, you're able to identify where it's not progressing and just being like, done, cutting off communication, Page of Pentacles. I mean, come on now, uh, Taurus. So yeah, I would say take this as your positive sign, Taurus, to just continue on. Continue on in your hus hustle. Um, take this as your sign that what it is that you're letting go of is the, it's like you're part of your path. You're and the, the thought process is there. It's correct in the actions and the things that you're feeling that you're, you know, there's a reason as to why you're no longer gravitating towards that situation anymore, Taurus. So now let's see how this pans out for you by the end of this week, right? The moon card coming in here. Uh, number nine for numerology, Archangel Haniel. You already know how this goes, Taurus. Uh, but this card says important psychic insights behind events behind the scenes and releasing the fears that hold you back. Okay, so this your decision is assisted with you. Like the decision is helped made for you, Taurus, because of something kind of coming up. 
this week I feel for you. Like it becomes a lot easier for you to cut off that communication that we talk about with this page of pentacles and no longer ignoring the signs anymore for uh, cups coming in here. Like there's definite reason as to why. This seems like almost like a reactionary thing on something, Taurus. So let's get into this a little bit deeper, see if we can get any more insight on this. We have the Hermit card coming in here. Yeah, something ends up getting revealed to you this week, uh, Taurus, that kind of just puts you in this place where you're kind of just turned off by other energies, other people. Um, you're just kind of wanting to be closed off. Two of Swords uh, coming forward in the reverse, or not in the reverse for you, in the upright. I was, it was looking like in the reverse just because that was how I was holding the card. Um, but yeah, Two of Swords uh, coming up here. Yeah, you're putting up your guard. So I would say definitely be prepared for that. Taurus this week, whatever this moon card is highlighting, spirit showing to me that it's going to be, well, yes, it helps you commit to your decision on moving into this new direction. But, you know, there's always something to kind of raise an eyebrow at and being like, well, why is Taurus being put in this place? How is like through this moon energy, how is Taurus like why are, it's one of those questions of why is this individual reacting this way is why i would be analyzing Taurus. so one can only assume naturally you're reacting in this way um because of you know something that doesn't normally feel that good because it feels like you're closing off becoming extremely guarded about this uh the fool card comes in where yeah you still see this in a new direction and being like yeah i need to pull out from this move into something new this is no longer beneficial for me and it's all under the moon so really emphasizing this week taurus i would say keep your eyes peeled definitely be prepared i know this is kind of like an one of those ominous things in some ways taurus but it is encompassed by a lot of positivity nonetheless but um definitely taurus anticipate some level of uh I would be saying, anticipate some level of where um, some type of event kind of like coming in to bring some type of reaction to you, right? Kind of like in the sense of be prepared for hurricane season as that's the best way. I'm a, I'm, I lived in Florida at one point, so that's kind of like, maybe not everyone's familiar with it, but in hurricane season, all Floridian, Floridians and other states affected by hurricanes usually prepare themselves uh, <laughs> for it. Two of Swords tried to come out as well uh, for this Taurus, so definitely a situation that you no longer uh, interested in feeding energy into. But yeah, you're kind of just preparing for the worst is what I'm kind of saying uh, towards whatever the situation is. Be prepared this week. If it is about a person or about a job, I do see something uh, occurring this week. Catches you off guard, but it is also your sign on um, like continuing on. And I see you guys honoring that. So Taurus, that's wonderful really overall. Just be prepared for that, darling. But I know you guys will, Taurus. So let's get it into your Taurus, your romantic and social life this week so when i say this this is just for um you know because we have more than just romantic in our life tourists we have uh we have those friendships family all that darling so y'all get the point uh starting this out for you go for you boys you guys though we have the page of fire page of wands and normal tarot this is my fresh start card can we just appreciate darling the matchiness of it all hello i might claim this card for myself no. um news of an exciting and uh, new endeavor uh, use your originality and ingenuity. So this kind of goes hand in hand, uh, Taurus, when you think about this with uh, your cards from your general spread of where, because you're adopting into like a new, uh, a, a, new, a new chapter in your life, Taurus. You're moving on from something, leaving the nest with something because it was affecting your nine of pentacles, your hustle, what it is you're trying to actively create. And so with this page of fire, um, this is showing to me kind of like a new in, uh, situation coming in, a new person uh, being going to be present in your life this week um, that can play a more pivotal role in your life or a more impactful role. If you're not socializing this week, uh, Taurus, I would say maybe there's someone in your life that um, I feel like we all kind of have those people that we unintentionally keep at an arm's length where we don't really connect with them all that often because we get, don't don't have that much in common with them. But then as like life progresses, you become more close with other individuals because you have more things to relate on. It's showing to me, Taurus, when, once you transition from this other situation that's that's interrupting your Nine of Pentacles flow, 
that's when this new energy comes in of where it's like some new energy becomes incorporated into your everyday, I feel, Taurus. But, you know, I could be just speaking out of pocket, darling. Let's get some clarifiers on this. So, yeah, two of wands in the reverse. This shows to me this is more so like an energy that already was present in your life before, again. But you just maybe weren't considering how they, what role they were going to play in your life and for how long, uh, Taurus. So definitely be on the lookout for the energies this week um, from just paying attention to this uh, connections that you have because I do feel like you have the potential to really start something new with this uh, with a person in your life ace of wands coming in as well um, definitely death card and the four of swords so this is a situation that definitely was kind of dead um, Taurus but something kind of like with this four of swords as well either closure some type of i don't know something happened with y'all that kind of put you at a rough like got off on the wrong foot uh very much so in that energy where maybe like you guys um or maybe whatever this old situation was that you released right um you never were engaging with this person before um because you didn't have time to engage with them or what have you but now that you're no longer associating yourself with this other old energy maybe this is how right maybe now you can uh, open up to this other uh situation that was brought forward into your life uh towards very very interesting so now uh, Taurus, let's get into your financial and career this week. Let's see what's going on there for you. We have the release card. Ooh, you're just letting go of everything to this week, darling. Uh, this card, number four, all the archangels as well. Number four for numerology. Add up all the numbers. If you have wrote all the numbers down up until this point and add them up into, into one number, unless it's a master number, Taurus. And then you have Archangel Azriel, another third archangel reaching out. This card says the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation and moving on. So yeah, Taurus, you are just moving on in all, in all sense of the word. Um, it does feel like you're sh like, I know this is kind of like an overused phrase darling isn't it but um it does definitely feel like you guys are shedding something shedding a skin of some sort right we have the page of cups coming in here so definitely welcoming in new energy through you but it's through you releasing right it's very interesting when you look at this taurus because it's like it's almost like everything is just kind of like waiting for you to like pull the trigger almost right and maybe you kind of been the one you know this as well you just been holding off on this trigger now i don't know if you just have been needing to have this as a sign um coming in towards for you to where it's like okay, to like let you know that it's okay to pull the trigger because of how much changes in your life but i'm seeing nothing but good right six of cups coming in as well some type of new offer coming in page of cups and six of cups both of these are talking about gifts offers deepening on um, thing yeah just like new energy and like it being like offered right definitely like some type of offer coming in new job opportunity like new opportunity for some type of something in your career for or for your finances queen of cups coming in here something that's especially more fulfilling all these cups cards like so this is really good like notice how we started your reading Taurus, where it's like heavy on the emotion kind of just like a right with this queen of cups here this is showing to me as well just like overall like the new energy you start connecting to it just overall feels good. It's like you leaving your office job to do something else that feels more passionate to you. Um, and it just feels overall good. The lover's card comes in as a document, like to important decisions, something that you can commit to for a very long time. Overall, just like an extremely positive reading, Taurus. Like you can't really get it much better than that. So I really celebrate you on that this week, Taurus. Let me know. Let's catch up after the fact and let me know what this opportunity was for you. What is this even like covering for you, Taurus? Share the good news in the comments below. But that is the reading that I have for you today for this week, Taurus, for your weekly horoscope. If you did enjoy this reading, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, Taurus, my website is at Simply Valka. If you'd like to follow any of my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, darling, any things simply velka um, as well don't forget to join my discord channel my discord server so you can join the giveaway that ends this week but until next time taurus i love you so much